Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over the massive rise in price that Litecoin has seen and how the expected gains on this one are still very much large. I want to be going over the current long position that I am still holding on Litecoin, the price targets to the upside that I have on Litecoin and how we can expect this to trade out in the coming weeks, maybe even months if this one absolutely exceeds expectations. What can we say? It's going very nice indeed. And I need to say, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you are doing very well. And I fully expect you are. We've been trading Litecoin obviously together for just over one month. And well, the gains have been very, very, very nice indeed. And well, hopefully it's just getting started overall. With that said, let's go into the technical analysis. And my thoughts on this lovely chart that we have right now. Uh, so it's kind of a special one, I really think so. Litecoin, as we can see, we had a relatively large increase in price before getting, you know, another retracement here where we've really come and we back tested that big $200, uh, which was prior resistance and flipping it into support from there. Another, you know, pretty substantial impulse to the upside, you know, very impulsive. I think we were personally just we could just be at the beginning of a wave three here on on Litecoin, which, you know, is obviously very bullish if this is the case. Um, <laughs> my bankroll would love it if it is. With that said, what do we have going on here a little bit locally? OK, so I don't want to get too excited just yet. What we can do standard standard operations. Let's take our fib from the well, there's a few places you could arguably take this from this. If we take our fib from here, first of all, up to the high. We can see from the low that was put in here, when we got this impulse to the upside, we came back into this CC support, which was around $215. From $215, we saw another impulse to the upside. So first things first, holding CC supports very well. Obviously, there's a secondary place where you could argue this is taken from, and that is you move it up one pivot to that last impulse high. Even still, that gave you the CC around $225. I would, I, you know, you didn't, you would not have been stopped out. You would have lost this trade. This is still, in my opinion, holding the CC absolutely, you know, perfectly. And this was obviously coinciding with uh, Bitcoin obviously hitting $47,000. And that's where I, you know, was buying more, even more Litecoin because I viewed the opportunity with Bitcoin hitting 47 k Litecoin. Well, obviously, I was looking at that head and shoulders on the Bitcoin pair, which we will cover in a second. And, you know, the, the, the what can I say, the opportunity that that gave Litecoin, Bitcoin, and then, well, Litecoin and Bitcoin coming together for a great opportunity, I really believe so. And so this is, well, we've got this secondary move to the upside. As you know, I am uh, trading this on the USDT pair. And um, I, I like to look for my analysis, though, off of off of Litecoin BTC. So I, I the way I trade my alts is I, I look for the strength against, you know, what's stronger, Litecoin or Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is looking stronger, I want to be in Bitcoin. And if Litecoin or the alt, you know, <laughs> replace Litecoin with any altcoin here, obviously I'm trading quite a few different altcoins right now. And if, if if the altcoin is looking stronger than Bitcoin, then I want to be in the altcoin, yeah. So that that's how I that's how I manage my altcoin positions. Uh, basically, I just want to be in the asset which is going to make me the most amount of money. I'm not a fundamental guy. I really don't care what I'm trading. All I do is trade to make money. And so. Uh, I like to base this obviously off of Litecoin BTC and what we can see is we've been monitoring this head and, head and shoulders now for a little while on Litecoin and well it's it's, it's really is taking off um, you know we can get a few different price targets the most what we can say is the most conservative price target is not really that conservative but nevertheless it's still looking for another 50% move obviously we had this really nice neckline and when we take this breakout from the neckline what we can see is that gives us a target uh, of around 0 0.069, 0 0.07. And then we obviously have this monthly level coming here at 0 0.007271. This is uh, Litecoin against Bitcoin. Of course, I'm not trading this pair, but just so you're aware, that's where our next monthly level of resistance is. In a chart that looks very nice indeed. If we zoom out to the monthly chart, let's just hide, uh, let's just let's just hide all of this. OK, what we can see is this 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 altcoin is, you know, what can we say is pretty much at the, you know, very close to the all time lows. Of course, it's moved up, uh, you know, it's moved up a bit over the past month. But relatively speaking, this is still a very um, potentially undervalued coin and it's only just starting to get traction. So, you know, it's it's gone through a period of accumulation. 
And this is the markup phase. This is the time where smart money makes money. OK, so really the smart money is making money here because, you know, you have the, you know, the I don't want this video to be too long, but you have like two types of trader, especially inside a cryptocurrency, especially inside cryptocurrency. Two types of trader in this market. You have just smart money that will look to accumulate down at the lows. And then you have the dumb money. It's called just dumb money. This isn't me putting my name on it. Dumb money is the people that chase the pumps. So the people that don't have the patience to accumulate down at the lows. OK, they're going to be jumping into Dogecoin. They're going to be jumping into Cardano. They're going to be jumping into SafeMoon. They're going to be jumping into whatever coin is like up 100 percent on the day. You know, they're, they're continuously going from pump to pump to pump to pump to pump. And they're continuously getting wrecked and wrecked and wrecked and wrecked and wrecked. Whereas the smart money, they're happy to accumulate before the move has happened. You know, it's the smart money that actually caused these pumps. Okay, it's not it's not your retail traders with, you know, one or two Bitcoin just going in and out of trade. You know, that that's, has absolutely no effect on the market at all. You need your smart money to accumulate. Then you get your, you know, you get your markup phases. And, and I personally believe Litecoin is in the markup phase right now. So that's obviously very good news for longs right now. Very good news for me. Um, so what, what, what can you say? What, what, what is the resistance? I'll give you, give you one guess on this. What's the resistance that Litecoin hit to the absolute sat this morning? Wonder who took profits on this one. What we can see, okay, we're going to take a fib from the high of this move. We're going to take a fib from the high of this last impulse down to the lows. Okay, fib from the high down to the low. <laughs> Let me just remove this price target here. What you can see is this is the CC level. What we've done is we hit the bottom of that CC to the absolute sat for a 5% decrease in price. 5% decrease in price. Obviously, this is just an intraday pullback. It's not like we're expecting necessarily a full-blown reversal from this point. But nevertheless, this was a major pivot on the chart for our FIB pull. We pulled that FIB from the high to the low. We hit the bottom of the CC there to the absolute sat. You get a 5% pullback. 5% pullback if you're a day trader. It's pretty good to be aware of. Okay, we're not necessarily expecting this full-blown like total dump from here. But it is a good area, obviously, for taking profits for day traders, scob traders alike. Offers opportunities. We get through this CC, which is obviously coming in at around 0 0.006447. OK, so we can say the top of our CC is next to resistance. And if we get through that, we're looking up towards the monthly. If we get through that, we're looking at, well, I think very, 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 very big gains to the upside, to be honest. You know, we're talking about hundreds of percent coming on again. So we're going to trade it level to level. We've got the bottom of the CC here, number one, top of the CC, monthly. Well, if we clear monthly, I'm, I'm expecting very good things. Bringing this over to the Litecoin uh, USDT pair. Now, obviously, we had a bit of a pullback yesterday. I think this was beautiful. Uh, we had this drop in price and this was really, in my opinion, the shakeout. So it's like I was updating you on Twitter yesterday. Um, you know, Litecoin was dropping. And like I wrote here, I am remaining in my Litecoin long. I'm very happy to compound my leverage position and buy more on the retracement. Exciting few months for this swing long trade in my view. You've also been trading Litecoin with us for the past month. That obviously dropped in the end to 200, about $293. Uh, today, as we're speaking, we're up another 20% from that price. OK, this guy took the trade. He's already in $4,000 profit on Litecoin. If Dan's in it, I'm in it. Lots of people joining you on Litecoin. How could they not? But here we go. Already 20% up from that dip yesterday. And this is what we mean by when I make a plan, I'm not going to be scared of it. I'm not, you know, just to just say, you know, this is what you know, this is what we're looking at. First thing, first things of, you know, first thing to bear in mind is you had technical levels supporting you on the drop. OK, you have the coming into the CC, you have coming into this resistance, flipping into support. Just just a bunch of factors of like, why would you get shaken out by this unless you have really weak hands? My diamond hands, my diamond hands were not getting shaken out by that. I'll tell you this. Why? Because I have a plan on this. I have a very well thought through plan. OK, what does this mean? It means I'm not getting scared by the drops. I'm actually viewing that drop as an opportunity to buy more. Because the overall context of this coin is I have a brilliant plan. I've been in this one pretty much since the lows, so I'm in a very advantageous position. As well as that, 
you know, I, I have my higher price targets on the USD pair, which we're looking at now on the USD pair specifically. Well, my next level obviously is $350, <laughs> to be honest with you. My next level is $350, but we're very close to that now. We are very, very, very close to that. My next then target above that is $375. There's a few reasons for this, really. When we take our fib from this low to this high, you can see this negative fib coming in at $376. And then when we take our one-to-one -one extensions off this last impulse, you can see that we're giving $372. So for me, there's a mixture of confluences here for me to look for my next price target of around $375. Okay. Again, I don't necessarily think we're going to, uh, you know, hit this necessarily and just dump off the face of the earth. But I do think that we can offer a pullback. I do think it's offered take profits. And again, for scalp traders, day traders, you have some potential shorts off of it if you would, you know, if you feel inclined to do this. Um, so for me, that's the next level I'm looking to the upside. So yeah, really my thought process right here is long on Litecoin. I um, think it's looking absolutely amazing. Massive, massive, insane profits on this one. And really, we're just, you know, just trading the charts. So I'm looking for around 375 on the USDT chart. Uh, I think we're at, well, we literally are at the CC right now on the Bitcoin pair. Again, we hit that, <laughs> hit the bottom of the CC to the absolute sat. Um, five, nearly from a 5.6% decrease in price, actually. So 6% pullback on that. But we're at the CC here. If we clear the top of the CC, we've got a monthly above us. That's the levels to be aware of on the Litecoin Bitcoin pair. Uh, this is the levels to be aware of on the um, Litecoin USDT pair. Obviously, we got the TPO charts on this as well. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm trading on buy, but we got pretty nice support now building up at around uh, around $300 uh, $302. So we, this is looking pretty nice for the intraday as well. Pretty content. And we're now clearing that $333 mark to the upside. So yeah, I think Litecoin's looking brilliant, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's really my thought process on this one. And uh, <laughs> I've saved this to the end. I've saved this one to the end. And I had to, because you know you all know what's coming next. You know, all know what happened on Litecoin here. <laughs> you can see it. You all know what happened on the 25th of March, the day that Litecoin put in this major low for the massive rally, dropped to the CC, secondary massive rally. Have a guess what happened on the 25th of March. And this is what we call smart money, ladies and gentlemen. It's on the 25th of March is where, moi, <laughs> I started to accumulate Litecoin, go on shopping for my altcoins, and I will be buying them bit by bit, slowly but surely, on the 25th of March, started to accumulate my altcoins. As you all know, pretty funny comment comments in the group. This guy over here uh, might as well copy me. He didn't know what altcoin to buy next. Might as well copy me. Well, we've just made coming on 100% gains to the upside again. 25th of March is when we started to buy this. <laughs> Obviously, Star, I love you, mate. But I just got to emphasize this point again, because back when I was buying and accumulating my my Litecoin there at the lows, obviously, you've got people saying that the, you know, the altcoins are worthless. They're, they're rubbish. Do not do this. And you just got to think to yourself. Um, this is where you need to like block out the opinions of others. Yeah. Because imagine I had bought Litecoin at the absolute low. And then I see comments, people of, of people saying, oh, this is, you know, this is a wor worthless coin. You're going to lose money, get rid of it. You know, you're going to, you're going to close your position. And this is why myself, of course, I'm not going to listen to anyone else. I have my own plans. I have my own technical analysis. And I honestly couldn't care less what anybody else says to be honest with you. But well, when it comes to trading, you know, when it comes to trading, I don't, don't, don't couldn't care less what anyone else says. I do my own technical analysis, I do my own charts. And hey, we nailed that one on Litecoin. But I have a few more funny comments within this one. Yes, dot and link. Absolutely. Link, shout out to link doing amazing. Uh, <laughs> we love we love link. And um, yeah, there you go. Scared money don't make money. That's how you do it. We, we now have made coming on just over a million million dollars profit in what, just over a month on Litecoin now. And for me, like, I don't even allocate like that much size to my altcoins. So I'm pretty content with that. Um, yeah, scared money don't make money. 25th of March. Don't you think it's quite funny that the day I started to buy altcoins, they started to bottom out fully and only go up. Litecoin, 100% up from that day. All the other altcoins I bought between 60 and 100% gains too. Spooky, right? <laughs> Spooky, right? Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm just I'm just having some fun with you. But isn't it? Don't don't you don't you find it quite funny that literally this is my bragging moment. This is my bragging moment. The day 
that I start to buy the altcoins. The altcoin market turns up, specifically talking here about Litecoin, but obviously those five alts. Remember, I went through 300 different altcoins, 300 different altcoins I went through, and I handpicked the five best looking altcoins, and Litecoin was one of them. Started to get into, involved on this one. Well, the rest is history. The exact day we started to get involved, the exact day other people in the champions group started to buy that with me, hey, we're doing 100% gains to the upside just one month later. What can we say? Scared money don't make money. Smart money accumulates the lows. Dumb money is chasing into the pumps when we're going to be looking to take profits. That's all I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the likes. Let's get this to, I don't know, 1,000 likes. I'll bring you maybe an Ethereum analysis. Ones that I'm trading right now, I'm actually trading uh, Uniswap, DOT, Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, obviously Litecoin, Tezos I'm trading, um, EOS I'm trading. Uh, still got a bit of XRP going on. So if you would like a different, you know, some altcoin analysis, I'm, I'm happy to do the ones that I'm trading. Um, so, you know, there you go. Hope you've made some money with me. Hope you've enjoyed. Of course, of course, of course, before we end, we've got to have that amazing, amazing disclaimer that everybody loves. The important legal disclaimer, of course, we're just talking about paper money in today's video, paper money demo accounts. Of course, you all know the massive legal disclaimer that we got here because we don't want to get sued. Um, there you go. That's the that's the disclaimer, of course. Make sure you read and understand that. Uh, we can stack the paper money. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Listen when I talk about something. Have a great day and exactly as predicted once again.